Hi everyone, I'm Richie. In YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and other social media platforms, you can discover that there are lots of interesting and inspiring videos posted by other people. Are you trying to create a video but wondering how to create good quality video? No worries. In this second last video of the series, I'm going to talk about something you should know to make a better video. In this section, I'm going to share some tips to make high quality video. And I believe that these tips are going to be very helpful for you, especially for those who have no experience on how to go about it. Number 1. Plan your video content First thing first, content is a very essential part of the video. You don't want your audience to feel that your content is boring, not interesting, and not give any value, right? Therefore, you should plan your video content carefully and make it so that the audience feels that your video is worth watching. How do you do that? You may outline your goal, identify your target audience before starting. Ask yourself with these questions. What are you looking to achieve? Are you going to teach something new? Or share information? Or make it like an entertainment channel or video? What do you wish your audience to gain from the video? You have to define your goal before moving on. Picking the right topic depends on who your audience is. Your target audience can be broad or very specific. The more specific you are, the easier it will be to make a video targeted to them. Number 2. Equipment for video shooting and voice recording No worries about buying fancy materials while you are taking your video. A smartphone is good enough for you to take a good video or record your voice. You can use your phone to capture professional video footage and the quality is just fine for most purposes. But there are a few things in mind if you are going to use your phone for video creation. Use the camera on the back of your phone. The front camera's quality is not as good on most phones. Record in landscape mode. This will give you footage that looks good on larger devices, not just phone screens. If your phone has a feature that allows you to overlay a grid on your screen, use it. This will help you keep your phone level and avoid tilted footage. Please be reminded that equipment isn't as important as knowing how to use what you got and edit professionally. Better skills are better than any type of fancy materials for you if you do not know how to use them professionally. Number 3. Pick the right background This is an adding mark for you to get your audience first impression. I'm going to show you two examples of a background. First, a messy and untidy background. How do you feel when you are looking at this background? Hmm, maybe a little uncomfortable, a little too distracting? And it makes you not have the appetite to continue watching? That's right. Okay, how about this? A tidy, neat, and clean background. Feeling better now? Great! One easy way to get a professional look for your video is to use a solid color background. A wall, a bed sheet, or a large sheet of backdrop paper are all good options. Make sure your subject stands several feet away from the backdrop to avoid casting shadows on it. Tips! Be careful not to film with a window or another reflective surface in the background of your shot. Having a light source like a window behind your subject can make the subject look dark and shadowy. Number 4. Use the right lighting. Lighting makes a huge difference in the quality of a finished video. Before you set up your light source, consider the effect you want to create in your finished video. Do you want your subject face to be entirely lit up by having a soft or flat light? 
or do you want some shadows by having hard light? The sun is one of the best light sources for a video. If you are filming in natural light, do your best to get your footage in the morning or evening when the light is softer. If you are filming indoors, you will need to be more aware about the types of lights you can use and where you can place them. Windows are a good natural light source. You can also use a large lamp or two to cast the type of light you want. Be aware that lighting should not be too dark or too bright as it will affect the vision of the audience. Number 5. Filming Before you start to do filming, you should understand the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is one of the most basic principles of film composition. Imagine that there's a 3x3 three three grid laid over the film you're filming. The points where the lines intersect are particularly strong areas of focus. So put your important elements of the video there if you can. You don't have to follow the rule of thirds all the time. But while you are still learning, it's a good idea to adhere to it as often as possible. As you gain experience, you will get a better instinct for when to stick with the rule and when to break it. Using a tripod to stabilize your phone or camera to avoid shaky frames. Besides, film shop takes and check it back once you have done shooting. You will have fewer things to remember and more opportunities to reshoot the scene that you don't like. Before you start recording, record a short one to test your phone or camera's condition and the audio of your video. Number 6. Audio Quality Using a phone recorder will be good enough for beginners who are just learning video shooting. You do not need to buy a microphone while you are just studying. A better voice quality will be collected if you are using headphones or earphones while recording. Please be aware of aircon sounds, fan sounds or outside noises which might accidentally be recorded with your voice. No worries if your recording has a little noises at the background. You are able to clear the background noises once you are editing the video and audio. Number 7. Choose a good video editing software. Here are the key features to pay attention to when choosing a video editor. The ability to add text to video. The ability to trim and crop videos. Scene transitions. The ability to change the aspect ratio. Adding filters and overlays. A library of stock videos and sounds. Besides, you should keep your editing simple. Trying out different effects can be fun during video editing process, but don't go too crazy. A simple, clean editing style generally looks most professional. Yay! You are now able to video shoot your first video now! Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and share it to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us. Stay tuned for our last video on 8th of November 2020. I will be introducing the software that we're using for video editing in the next video. See you soon!